Hello and welcome to episode number 23. Um, as you may have noticed, I'm not in the same Tekkit world I have been in for the Quarry project. I'm in a new single player world. And what you also may have noticed is that I haven't been putting up videos recently because I've been a bit busy. Um, so I think it's been like two weeks or something since I put up a video. Something like that. Um, which is a little bit too long in my opinion. And I'm going to try and avoid that in future times, but I've just been very busy, so I didn't have time for this for those two weeks. But hopefully I will be back on track from now on and um, putting out videos a little bit more regularly. Um, so yeah, the reason I'm in this new single player world is that I saw a post on the um, computer craft forums and it was a competition for um, the new version of computer craft 1.4 um, and the contest is as follows. Um, you start with the following setup. You have a tree, and you have your mining turtle right in front of the tree. And from that starting position, with absolute scratch, um, you have to program the turtle to create two more of its peers, because in the new version of Computer Craft, you can now craft things with your turtle. So they can also craft new turtles if they uh, gather the right materials. So the goal is to gather all the right materials to create two more crafting tur uh, crafty mining turtles. Um, so it's quite a big uh, big project. So um, I'm going to start in little steps. And I thought, you know what, now that the quarry project is finished, um, I thought this would be a good alternative for um, a second project. So we'll start with um, this. So um, in the next part of this series, I will be programming this guy here to... Um, gather materials, everything he needs to build two more buddies and uh, you know hopefully I'll be done in time for the contest and uh, I'll be able to submit it and see how I do. Um, I'll post the link to the contest in, in the description so if you want to join in as well you can do that. Um, just make sure you don't like copy my code and hand that in as your own but uh, do your own thing because um, that would be you know it's the most enjoyable thing and you uh, don't screw me or yourself over by uh, you know, copying other people's code. It's not a very nice thing to do. Um, of course, you can uh, do approximately the same things and take like the basic stuff. Um, that's no problem. But uh, don't do a one-on-one -on -one copy. That would be a little bit lame. Um, so I think this video, I will show you um, the progress I made up to now. I've already started a little bit um, doing the cutting the tree stuff, and uh, I think this guy makes a chest now as well. Um, so I've made a little bit of progress, and I'll show you. Um, what I've done up to now. Um, now the big advantage um, of this is that I'm doing it in single player, so I installed um, the new computer craft mod, um, so I figured out how to install mods and all that stuff. Never done that before, so that was all a bit tricky. Took me a while to figure all that out, uh, but I got it working. And uh, the big advantage is that I can now use Notepad for my programming rather than doing it inside of the turtle, so that makes things a little bit easier. Um, so we can run through the code in Notepad and it's not as uh, horrible to deal with as uh, the turtles in, in the computer craft mod. Um, so the first thing I did is I copied a whole bunch of code from the um, quarry project, especially the code that has to do with movement and uh, keeping track of your coordinates and your orientation. So I copied over like the, the left-right function, uh, apparently the inventory full one as well, I don't know why I took that. But, um, move forward, move up, move down, look, the look function is very useful, go to, copied that one over as well, um, and the rest is pretty much all the stuff that I wrote today, which is new. Um, so yeah, in this situation, um, you have no fuel as well, so that's why they place you um, right in front of the, uh, the tree, so that the first thing you can do is mine this tree, turn it into planks and use that as fuel so then you can actually start moving and uh, doing more stuff like mining this whole tree here. Um, so that's basically the first step that I've done. So um, let's see, my first function here I made is get started so it cuts the first bit and fuels up and then he chops down the rest of the tree um, and while he's doing that he's also looking for saplings by uh, chopping down the leaves as well. Um, drops down one log to pick up later. Uh, one of the biggest problems with this whole thing is identifying blocks and figuring out which block is which. 
because with your mining turtle you're pretty much completely blind you don't really know what you're mining, where you're mining um, what you've got in your inventory, it's all a massive guess so you've got to use all kinds of tricks and assumptions to um, to figure out what you're mining and so you get the right um, materials in the right spot when you're crafting and all that um, so that could be a little bit tricky that's going to be one of the biggest challenges I believe so I'm going to try and figure out a system, I already have something thought up but I'll explain that later or another video um, about how I'm going to sort items and um, keep track of what is what and that's going to be a very important uh, part of this uh, this project. Um, See, so yeah, I'll, I'll uh, run this in a second. Uh, for, I, maybe I'll show you the rules first. So, here's the. Uh, oh, this is not the post. This is the post. So here's the post on the forums. I'll link it in the description um, with all the rules and what you have to do to submit and blah 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 all that stuff. Um, so you can read that through uh, in your own time. Um, but basically. Um, the thing is you have to start from scratch, you're not allowed to help the uh, the turtle yourself you have to stay because of um, how the world loads um, you have to stay within 16 blocks from your starting position in the X and Z uh, direction so that you don't go outside of the loaded area and um, unload your turtle and it stops moving, that would be a shame, so you have to stay within a certain area um, and you're not allowed to help your bot in any way uh, during the contest, do everything all by itself completely automated um, so yeah, it's quite challenging, uh, and we're going to take small steps and uh, go up further and further until we have something that is really awesome and a completely autonomous system. Um, I'll just uh, run this and explain what's going on while it's doing it. So it it mines the first block, changes it to planks, and refuels on those planks, and so now it's going to mine the rest of this tree, and it's also going to chop leaves to find some saplings if it's lucky. Um, it doesn't always get lucky though, so let's see. Last chance. No, it didn't get any saplings. But it got five wood. So it's going to drop a piece of wood down here to pick up later. So this is going to be like my wood that I use as a reference. Now, what it's doing here is it's dropping blocks and putting them in the right slot to make a chest. So it makes two chests, puts one down, one above, and then it moves back here. It tries to grab that log, but that doesn't work yet, <laughs> so I have to fix that and then it tries to put it in this bottom chest here um, but I'm going to have to figure out a better way to get this log back because <laughs> what I'm using at the moment is um, when I'm standing still above the ground I use um, drop down and then uh, suck down to suck the uh, blocks back up um, but that only works if you don't move apparently so if you drop down then move away and then come back and try to suck down um, it won't be able to pick it up so that's a bit of a shame um, the other way of doing it is to dig the block underneath you and then do drop down but then the problem is that you've got this dirt block in your inventory and you have to drop that and deal with that and that's a bit of a pain um, so there's all kinds of these little issues and problems to deal with um, so I'm still figuring that out a bit um, so yeah this is the progress I've made so far um, if we look at the code a little bit um, I got to here I think I explained so we chopped down the tree um, if you do pick up a sapling, I just make sure I place it in the same place where the tree was, so that I have another tree growing there as soon as possible. Because um, fuel is going to become an important issue as well. Um, getting enough fuel to make sure you don't get stranded somewhere. Um, and if I have multiple saplings, I just chuck them on the ground. I don't want to keep them really. Because um, I'm, the, you know, the other annoying thing about this. Um, you can only craft things, or the turtle can only craft things, and it uses these top left nine blocks here for the crafting. You have to pretend this is a crafting bench. But if there's anything else in the uh, outside blocks here, it won't do it. It has to be completely empty except for the blocks you're using to craft. So if you have any other crap over here, you can't do any crafting, and it really messes up your whole uh, your whole code. Um, so you have to empty your entire inventory before you do any crafting. So if there's like a dirt block somewhere on the side here, then you're screwed. So that's why uh, that's annoying, and that's why I need this system with the chests um, to store items and uh, keep track of what's what. But uh, I'm gonna have to explain that another time and think about how I'm gonna do that exactly. I have a rough idea only. Um, anything else? 
see. Yeah, so the next part turns the logs into planks. Um, then it goes to the location where it wants to build the chest. It stores that location. Um, then it makes the chest, and it does that because we have one stack of uh, one stack. We have a part of a stack of planks, and we calculate how many chests we can make from that by dividing the number of planks we have by eight. Eight is the number of planks you need for a single chest, and we floor that number, which means we round it down if it's not a whole number. Um, and that's the number of chests we're able to make maximum from that amount of pl those amount of planks. Um, I do print because I was debugging at some point because it was going wrong. Um, if it's more than zero, then I store which slots are needed to be filled with planks in order to build a chest. So that's two, three, five, seven, nine, ten, and eleven. Um, so it's one, two. I already have them in one, so I don't have to do that one. But it's two, three, and then not four, five, not six, seven, and then nine, ten, and eleven. The bottom rear. So you get planks in a square here, like you normally would on a crafting table. Um, and then seven times, because it's seven, I have to fill still, and number one is already filled with planks. I drop um, the same number of wood that I want to make chests. So drop down chests is the number of chests I'm going to be making. So it drops those number of planks. Then it selects the slot on place one, which is two in the beginning, and then it goes through every single one of these. And then it does suck down which uh, means it sucks back up the uh, uh, blocks that it dropped and then it selects one again to uh, prepare for the next drop and it does that for every single slot here so that you end up with the X number of planks you need to make X number of chests in each of these slots and then you craft and it makes those number of chests um, and then we go place them so uh, I put well I do some checking here to make sure that I get the right slot where the chests are and um, rather than uh, placing planks that might be left over from uh, the crafting of the chests. Um, and then I place those one below me and if I have a second one, if I had enough wood to make a second one then I also place one above me. Um, and then I go back here and I'm trying to retrieve that um, log that I dropped earlier but that's not working yet, um, so I'm going to have to fix that. And uh, that's as far as I got, <laughs> so uh, not very far yet. But um, I'll be continuing this progress in f the following videos that will be coming not too long, hopefully. Um, the deadline is November 1st, so I've got just yeah, just over half a month to do this, uh, which is not a lot of time. Well, it would be a lot of time, but I'm quite busy, so I don't have a lot of time to spend uh, doing this. Uh, but hopefully I can find the time and finish it uh, within good time of the deadline and uh, produce some videos in the meantime as well um, I won't be showing all the coding I'll be doing um, mainly because I'd, it would just be too long and boring and the other reason is so that you, the viewer, also has a chance to do your own thing and um, use your own uh, inspiration and uh, creativity to uh, come up with solutions for this issue um, and all the other problems you may run into rather than just copying everything from me. So uh, yeah, I would definitely invite you to uh, join in the competition and uh, try writing your own uh, autonomous uh, reproduction program. And uh, if you finish it, you know, you can just hand it in here and you have a chance to win uh, a $50 voucher for Amazon.com. So there's your motivation. And of course, just for fun, because it's awesome. But um, I think that's going to be it for this video. I uh, hope everyone has a good time doing this, if you feel like it, and otherwise have a good time watching me uh, dicking around trying to do it. Uh, and I'll see you next episode, I guess. Thanks for watching, and uh, bye guys.